I was in a little bit of a rush to get here this morning because the scissor lift guys actually showed up a little bit earlier than expected. So I zipped over here, wrapped up a video, edited it, uploaded it, and now I'm here early. And it's like, what am I gonna do with myself? Well, I know exactly what I'm gonna do because it's a mess in here. And I need to clean up this mess. Like it needs to be taken care of. I know I'll probably produce more mess, but it is what it is. I need to just get this place looking good again. Now we um, patched these nail holes everywhere. So I think this can all be sort of vacuumed and sanded. So I've got to take care of that as well. And I also want to apply the second coat of paint to this here. And I think, no, so these haven't been sanded. So I've got to go get a sanding sponge so I can sand all of these nail holes here so that I can actually start to apply the second coat of paint and then this needs to be vacuumed because we did the carpet up here the other day and it seems like these became a mess again. So before I apply the second coat of paint, it's got to be all cleaned up. So I guess I got to go to Home Depot at some point, probably get some painter's poly and a sanding sponge so I can take care of that. But first, I want to clean this place up. It always feels good cleaning up, especially when you got some brand new carpet. And I also found the sanding sponge so I can sand down all of the uh, screw holes on the cabinets and we can do the paint sooner than expected. Go through and vacuum up the mess. And I'm really excited about vacuuming this carpet for some reason. It feels good to get some of the cleaning done. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I'm probably going to make a mess again. I did find that sanding sponge and I also found some painter's poly so I don't have to run to Home Depot. However, I did leave the house in a rush this morning. I'm out of coffee filters, so I might have to go get some coffee filters or just go get a coffee from somewhere. I should continue cleaning up, but I think I should prioritize applying the second coat of paint to these cabinets because then I can just clean up while that paint dries and then potentially apply a third coat if it's needed. Hey, hey, that would look pretty sweet. So yeah, I've got this painter's poly here that should protect the carpet. Come on, that's a pretty big surface area. I can't see me dripping on the carpet, can you? I hope not. So I guess painting these cabinets is the next thing I'm gonna take care of. Okay, now it's time to paint. Painting these cabinets is a little bit tricky just because they're a cabinet. <laughs> getting down on the knees and getting underneath and painting the underside, but the results are absolutely fantastic. I'm using this little mini roller. The reason I'm using the little mini roller is because it can get in all the nooks and crannies. You can also put some paint on the end of it so that it can paint like the edges and everything as well. It takes a little bit more time, but, but I don't know, not too bad, I guess. I think the fresh coat of paint really makes these cabinets pop. After that, it's time to do a cleanup downstairs. So do some sweeping, restack some carpet tile, and also vacuum up all that sawdust. It always feels good just to pick up all the loose debris that's everywhere. There we go. It's all cleaned up nicely down there. Well, somewhat. I need to mop it, but I'm going to do that right before we start installing that carpet tile because there's no sense in mopping. That's what I've learned. I've mopped a few times and made it look spick and span, but then you cut one piece of wood and it's like, nope, that was not worth the time. I think the cabinets up here are looking pretty good as well. I do think that they're going to require one more coat. I could leave it at two, like it looks pretty good, but I think one more coat would treat them quite nicely, specifically on the top here where there's a lot of that patching. For example, right there, you can sort of see the patch. And over here as well. Oh, it's pretty much dry. So I could apply a third coat right now. Woo, that was a tremendous amount of fun. Do I go home and hang out with my family? Or do I apply a third coat of paint here? Goodness, I haven't even had a coffee yet. <laughs> That's brutal. Maybe I should go get a coffee and then I should do the third coat. Hmm. It would look good with that third coat, wouldn't it? Jeez. It's, a, it's, it's all right, like paintings, paintings all right, but painting these like on your knees and getting in there and getting on the underside of the shelf where the brackets are and everything is a little bit tricky, but I think that little mini roller, it does a great job of getting in all the nooks and crannies and I don't even need a paintbrush, so that's pretty nice. And that just looks incredible. So happy that I decided to paint them. It just like blends together so nicely with this room now. It's just a good contrast with the carpet. And also it just looks so good with the cloud backdrop. There's only a few things that need to happen before we can consider this project complete. The paint on the cabinets, 
paint on the stairs, it just needs one more coat because we did some touch-ups. Along with paint on this back wall here, we did some touch-ups there as well. And then some paint on this door, which turned out beautifully. And then all of the paint is complete. Then we've just gotta run the carpet down the stairs, put the nosing on, then that will be considered complete as well. But then we've gotta do the carpet down here in this space. So this space here is actually six, no, sorry, 1800 square feet. The mezzanine space is 600 square feet, so it's approximately three times the size. And the mezzanine space took us an entire day because it takes a long time. Got to do the chalk lines, you got to do the glue, lay the carpet, all the specialty cuts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it takes a long time. And I'm guessing that to finish this project, there would be three more solid days of labor involved. We're talking probably 11 hour days, and then it'll be done. Once the carpet's laid, we can slap the baseboards on, and that's done. But just this carpet is the next thing that's gonna take a long time. Two and a half days of solid carpet laying. And then the other half day is just doing the paint touch-ups and also putting the carpet on the stairs. And then we're uh, moving on to the cleanup phase. Just do a thorough cleaning and then uh, start bringing in the Lego. So yeah, I'm almost there. It's funny, I feel like I shouldn't be leaving work. Like I got there at just after eight, it's now 2.26. So I was there for six hours. I edited, uploaded, cleaned, and painted. So it's like, yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be leaving right now, but it's beautiful out. And I'm like, I'm gonna go home and fire up the grill or something, hang out with the kids. Life's not all about work, right? Millie, can you put the car on the ramp? Can you show me? Oh, wow. Say go! Go! She says it when she drops one. Yeah. You want to put the card here? Go! Go! Wow. Yeah. So much go. fun. So much fun. The kids have just been like living on this thing. It's YouTube, awesome. Apparently. YouTube, yeah. YouTube. So as you know, I'm in desperate need for a coffee. So I'm going to make one there. Because I got a call this morning at quarter to eight. They're like, hey, we're here to pick up the scissor lift. It's like, what? You told me you'd be there at nine. Not quarter to eight. So I rushed out of the house with no coffee. Not good at all. So what are uh, you and Millie cooking? Uh, I don't know. Some sort of orzo chicken. Something or other, sun-dried tomato, I don't know. Orzo chicken with sun-dried tomato, Millie. She's a master chef. Benny was helping me for most of it. Was he? Benny's over here, he's watching Miss Rachel. They're at that funny time in the evening between 4 and 5 p.m. where it's like they're super hungry, but we have to cook dinner. So the only way to distract them is with Miss Rachel. We only let them watch Miss Rachel. That's all they want to watch, but it's educational. She has actually taught them words. For example, right now they're learning meow. It comes from a cat. And they've, or she has taught them like hand signals and words that we have not even taught them. So it's educational TV. And it's all they want to watch. It's funny because it's always ever showing them. So you show them something like Coco Melon or whatever it may be. They're like, no, we don't want to watch that. We want to learn stuff. I'm disappointed because of the, this like uh, cute clip of me chasing these kids around before we went for uh, a walk. And I uh, somehow misplaced it. Deleted it by accident, I guess and it like deleted right from the camera. Right, Tico? But well, we went for a, a walk and these kids were just like cruising around. We, they're at the age where we can actually bring them out of the stroller now so they can like walk beside us. It's pretty cool. I can't wait for the summer because then we're gonna bring them to the park all the time. It's just a, just a grand old time. And I cannot wait to eat this dinner here. It looks fantastic. Good job, Jose. See, I'm glad I didn't stay over there and paint those cabinets. I can always paint those another day. It's only gonna take probably an hour because I don't think I'm going to have to paint like all of it again. Uh, I don't know when we're going to be doing the carpet. I hope soon. I know uh, Paul's got some other jobs that he's got to take care of as well. So it's just about managing that. And yeah, that's, that's really about it. Comes down to him. Got that exciting event happening here on the weekend on the whatnot con. 
crazy all sorts of like used and sealed sets and then like a, a wild amount of minifigures look at all those figs <laughs> some good ones that's for sure it's it's pretty wild there's a lot of used stuff uh, some people have been asking me why did you get this i uh i actually didn't get this tony just like gave it to me and said just auction that off starting at a dollar so i didn't pay for that one he, he's just said auction it off and then we'll square it up next time i see you so yeah, the original Eiffel Tower starting at a dollar, which is pretty wild. Originally I said I was going to give away the Pirates of Barracuda Bay, but I know that one's brand new sealed in box, and some of these other ones are used, so I might give away some of the, the used ones. For example, like the Snow Speeder, it's, it's used. So maybe I'm better off giving, out, giving away that. Or uh, maybe even the Superstar Destroyer, I haven't decided yet how exactly I'm going to do that. Sort of play it by ear. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with myself down here. I mean, it's just a matter of getting that place cleaned up and, and starting to move Lego. Uh, I know I could start moving Lego now, but I don't really want to move Lego there because we've still got wood to cut, still got glue to put on the floor, and, and there's still cleaning to do. So if I move more stuff in there, when I get to the actual cleaning of mopping everything, vacuuming everything, wiping all the walls down, doing everything well then that stuff just gets in the way and I've got to move it around constantly a great example of that is the carpet tile I got that carpet tile used from Facebook feels like a month ago and I got it way too early and I've had to move it around four times and it's annoying so the more stuff I bring over there the more stuff I have to move around constantly and I may as well just wait till it's all done also if I'm going around like running vacuums and stuff like that and I got a bunch of Lego over there it's just gonna get all dusty and also people are wearing their, their outdoor shoes into the, the workspace. So like you're tracking the dust and stuff like that. So there's really no point in bringing more stuff over there. I know it would help expedite the process, but I'm not prepared to bring more stuff over there just because it's going to get filthy McNasty. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not open to doing that. I don't want to deal with that mess, but I do want to deal with this dinner. And apparently that's going down right away here. So I'm pretty excited. I guess I should probably help with all these dishes and such. Dishes are clean, kids are bathed, kids are asleep. I think that was a good little afternoon. And now I think we're just going to chill out for the rest of the night. It's a great day. A little bit of paint, a little bit of cleaning up. That's about it. Also, I got an exciting uh, notification. Paul is over there right now working on some stuff. Who knows what it could be? Maybe it's in the new washroom. <laughs> Maybe it's more painting. I don't think it'll be the carpet, though. That's going to be a job for him and I. But yeah, the end is in sight. Pretty exciting times. Maybe by the end of this week. If not, maybe by the end of this weekend. If not, then maybe by the end of next week. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely sooner than that. But eventually we'll be back to the Lego grind, which I'm pretty excited about. Can't wait to start building. we got lots of exciting stuff coming out in the future. And uh, I'm back in land. I've got... Uh, Lots of stuff on the way for uh, review offers as well. Some pretty excited, some, some pretty sweet ones. So not only are we going to have the new studio, but we're going to be building the city, and we're also going to be able to integrate a bunch of the new sets into the displays as well and review them. So we're going to get back to normal, which is pretty cool. But I will say I have enjoyed this time of focusing on... Uh, getting the new place and also developing the new place and not having the distractions of the reviews hasn't been the end of the world just because I've been able to reallocate my time to this task which has been like extreme when it comes to uh, time consumption and coordination and brain power so it's actually been a nice little break and I think we're getting back into it at the perfect time because now I'll be able to develop the new studio with the city and the shelving rooms and all the different areas throughout and I'll also be able to build review and integrate some of the new sets as well early which is pretty cool so I'm excited about that everybody thank you so much for coming on by please remember to like subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future farewell